Hi, um, this is John, John Wanola here um, today. So, Thursday, the 14th of September 2017. Daryl Payne, this is a, a little clip to you in California. Um, you're doing a great job there uh, for over some time now. And I've just watched your video with concern that you are uh, in the throes of losing your home. So I'll just send this short clip to you that we are um, at just about the end of our uh, campaign to bring to justice uh, the government here and their corporate fraud uh, agents of the Crown Corporation in Australia, New South Wales and Queen Elizabeth and her Rothschild banks playing havoc on America. I've seen enough of it. I've seen enough fraud, corruption, and um, coming from America uh, as the worst country in the world with Israel and Dubai and all this ISIS that's going on in your country. I'm appointing you as a representative to uh, the Maui Crown, King William IV Trust. Uh, at this point in time, uh, you've been long enough um, uh, following me, the same as um, Matt Taylor and also Andy and Jackie Little Gordon and her family and their family have been following me from uh, Scotland and Matt from England. Uh, so we're forming ourselves together. I have uh, now uh, Cecile Dudes will be. Um, showing me how well she can run the MaoiPowerhouse.com site uh, that uh, has no, no one running it and I've uh, been re reluctant to uh, hiring anybody unless I've got full trust in them. Uh, she has turned up um, uh, and uh, has had some time in uh, administration and her PhD in economics, banking and administration and business. Uh, so, um, I'm going to see what she's come up with, how she's going to run the company uh, on our behalf for the members of uh, the organisation, the shares and um, the um, uh, pound note, the Maui pound note and also the Crown Corporation, the, the Maui Crown Corporation and the Maui Crown King William IV um, Trust business here in New Zealand's parent company. Uh, and the shares in each of 250 countries with a billion shares in each of those countries as claimants on the 70% of the king's side here claim in the population of the world and 70% of the population of each state in each country. Uh, so that's a big job for you to sort out, uh, Daryl, starting with California or where your hometown is. And 70% uh, of the population there is claimants under the king's Crown, uh, land patents, we have patents, Moai Crown patents, or Moai Crown King William IV patents, that covers the uh, King George III, the founder of uh, East India Company and America, and then uh, King George IV, the founder with um, our Moriori chief, uh, Tira Waikato Whareherehere Manakao, in 1820 to 1830 period and then King William IV in 1830 to 1834 cut-off period to this flag here and the 20th of March 1834 founding um, flag of uh, Admiralty trading, bank, commercial contracts, private contracts that started off with his reign on all the previous uh, monarchies in the King's line, Salic law forbidding forbidding women to succeed to the throne on our side of just those kings I told you and King William, King George III being the father of King George IV, the fourth, King William IV and King Ernest Augustus I. We have a reigning monarch uh, at the present time, live, 63 years old, um, King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, Hanover and Altair, New Zealand and Pacific Islands, Commonwealth countries of the world, dual government with Maui Crown and the British Westminster Government and Westminster City in Westminster Magistrate Court straight to Auckland Native Magistrate Court Grand Jury 
hearing on the 29th of September 2017 here in Auckland, New Zealand, uh, between uh, my Crown and ourselves, myself and the four, four Paramount Chiefs, myself, uh, John Wanawa and Bundy Waitai, the Cook Island Tahitian uh, Paramount Chief, uh, successor and inheritor of his uh, ancestors' lands here, and uh, Manahi uh, Parapara Mohini, the Moriori uh, Paramount Chief, um, first year uh, in the beginnings with Cook Island Tahitian, uh, and his ancestor Manahi's, Manahi's uh, um, Parapara Mohini's ancestor Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau put a deal together and sold New Zealand to the King, King George IV, in um, Edinburgh Magistrate, Magistrate Court and the titles put together there with um, uh, Lieutenant uh, William Simons and Tira Waikato and under the Freemasons um, land title um, documents, uh, instruments to make money in that Magistrate Court Bank right there and the St. Mary's Church Holy Grail there in Edinburgh is our titles to this country as partnership under the Lieutenant uh, William Simons uh, Magistrate Court, the man himself uh, that made the deal with the first native in the world on commercial contract trading bank uh, business uh, transactions and land transfer um, uh, titles. So Darrell, uh, that comes to my point of the land titles. All your land titles in America come under a vice admiral of the US federal state and also the United States of America, private companies. They are private companies, nothing to do with you or any public except under our admiralty private company, Maui Crown King William IV Trust. The keeper of this flag, the only king's flag in the world on dry land and all the rest of the flags are in the sea of Admiralty uh, from Britain, uh, the Union Jack in particular and the British flag is on the sea, high seas and to stop pirates, this flag is to stop pirates from interfering with a two-party contract. So there's a contract between me and you as a native here to you and our king in England, uh, King Ernest Augustus the fifth and his son, um, 33 year old uh, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, uh, reigning monarch, both of them, and our oath of office to them, over oath of office to them, and those two paramount chiefs, 1820 to 1830, and then from 1830 to 1834, Refa Refa Manakao and Mohi Manakao, Timati Manakao, to myself through the Freemasons title of the land and its certification, all the certificates, birth certificates, deaths and marriages, and the um, uh, um, driver's license, all the tax uh, uh, paperwork um, that belongs to that same organisation with us. We are in a contract with them, and we make the deal with them, cut the deal with them, and the Navy, British Navy, Royal Navy, we shut down all the Admiralty that's been abused of our title with this flag. And the Queen has abused the use of it and dished it out to the Pope, uh, Vatican City, private company, um, Bank of England, private company, and City of London, private company, Washington DC, private company, United States of America, private company, IMF Bank, private company, Bank of England, private company, and all the rest of them, New Zealand in Invest, NZ Invest, New Zealand, private company, New Zealand Police, private companies, all those private companies that are in the Crown Corporation under Queen Elizabeth II Head of State is fraud. And they get the bill from us, 970 million trillion trillion pound note, and split in amongst all the claimants on this side, 70 percent of the world's population, and against 30 percent of the world's population living at high on this one at the expense of this one. We're about to change that, Daryl, to this video to you. <coughs> I'll be uh, uh, if you can buy a flag straight uh, from us uh, or from the company here in New Zealand. And they are ninety dollars US uh, is, is about forty dollars, forty five dollars, but ninety dollars here um, for a bigger one. Uh, so that'll start that off, and then I will arrange. Uh, I'll, I will arrange to come there after we sort out Cook Street with the, the Paramount Chiefs and the lawyers. We're getting that all organised now, and um, I'll cut the videos of that operation all the way through. 
until we seize the land and seize the country and seize a few more things and start locking them up. Okay? So uh, October is when your house is likely to be sold. I'll put a writ warrant together and block that off uh, and stamped uh, by the Paramount Chiefs and us. We have the, uh, that's the um, uh, Queen's Federal State um, Government running uh, the US and this uh, Paramount Chief here, the contractors, will shut that one down and prevent any more lands from being sold and stop all the fracking and all the war and devastation on the, on the hurricanes and all that man-made weather under those codes of uh, the uh, UCC law that the Pope has destroyed all those uh, through the motu propria and they shouldn't be using it, we'll shut them down more with this. We have our own admiralty, the Pope had his own admiralty, not ours, not this one here. He can't borrow this one because it's a contract. Everything that he's made money out of is a contract. We'll seize all his property for abusing and breaking our laws. So, Daryl, uh, to you, I can see you're uh, in a, uh, a situation of, of a desperation of the, the government here is, is all held on anything they don't care, they've got no heart, they're, they're, they're ruthless and so will be ruthless as well as, as it can be and pay the British military 10 million, 10 billion of a pound note and take their cut out of it. I've put it in percentages of the recovered tons, I'd have to work out, you, get, you work out all the costs there and I'll split it in 100% on the 70% of the population of California and split the population, 30% of them get the bill. That's the ratio of creditors on this side and debtors on this side. we we'll debt them some more and find all the crooked ones and put them on, put a list out and we'll start doing that with the same one as I'm doing here in the Auckland um, Native Magistrate Court. They shut down the Magistrate Court here and shut down a few more Magistrate Courts around the world but they kept the ones in England, the, the um, Edinburgh Magistrate Court and the Westminster Magistrate Court is our court in Paddington in Westminster City, uh, uh, close by and in the area of Buckingham Palace and Trafalgar Square. That's all our area I'll be moving to and settling down there opposite the courthouse in Paddington, a new area, and we'll sort something out for you in California. And I want to do the uh, tidal energy power, power plant straight off the coast of California, uh, and I'll sort that out when I come there. I'll be going there in Canada and the other one's Harry, ha Harvey I mean, Harvey, and um, um, uh, Raymond uh, Faithful, and the other, the other guy, um, um, I think you were talking to him, ha Harvey, so uh, it doesn't matter, we'll, we'll take you on board, and um, we'll be coming there and sorting them out as well. But I'll try and do everything online without coming there. Uh, I'll try and do everything in line, online without going to Britain for a start until we get control and possession of the land with a writ warrant and the Admiralty Court Martial Law of this flag on dry land. This flag takes precedent right over all the British titles in the world with the British Navy and ourselves a partner. The legal, lawful, legitimate commercial trading bank business partnership of Admiralty. Court Martial Law on anybody gets a trillion pound bounty on their head if they tamper in the way of a two-way two contract between me and you, Daryl, as an agent of Maui Crown King William IV Trust. That trust is the 70% of the people claim it on the shares. So um, Cecile Dudes is the general manager of uh, our company, uh, Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited, here in New Zealand, the branch of uh, the main branch in the uh, UK. I'll be running on that end, and she'll be running the Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited Company, one of a trillion shares here, the parent company of uh, the other 250 countries. Um, shares of 1 billion shares each, 25 pounds a share, one off, that's it. Just for the mobile phone number, and that's all we require, 25 pounds, <coughs> as a initial registration of your name and your address uh, uh, details, and as soon as Take pay gets a hold of it, then you're registered through them in the transfer of money from what we recover straight to you week by week. Not any longer. We're going to split out the tax and everything. 
goes to the, uh, this is roughly, roughly, I haven't worked it out, but I'm just saying 10% goes to the British Navy, our legit legitimate partner in business, 10% goes to Westminster, uh, Westminster Parliament, and 10% <coughs> goes to tax uh, here and there, 10% uh, goes to, that's 10, 10, I'll make sure, 10, 10, 10. 10% uh, goes to the Whakaminia here, they run this country, and their royalties are tied up in that. That's the Whakaminia, that's 40%. 10% goes to insurance, insurers you, all the members, and they have their home, uh, that we get a home for them as well from the uh, um, the surplus uh, after all expenses, that's part of the expenses. So all the homes we own by my Crown, King William Trust, and just 10% goes to your insurance that covers your phone, home, Travel, your 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 personal, everything. <coughs> That's ten percent, and another ten percent goes for children and families. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 percent out of what we cover from each land book. So we're taking Cook Street as 2.5 billion, <coughs> split out amongst 100 percent, 100 percent out of 100 percent goes to expenses, and it's with clear profit of 60 percent. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, forty percent. Forty percent net profit, tax, everything off, all the expenses. The British military is paid for recovering all the debt, 950 million, trillion, trillion, as much as they can out of it, and or gold missing, the 300 million metric tons of gold that's in the Caribbean. That is our Dutch partnership. So I don't have any trouble with that. We just use that as collateral on the pound note credit straight away. So that's our partner, Dutch King William III, King William IV, Dutch, <coughs> in this flag. This is a Dutch man's flag. Okay, that's that side got it. Now, the tidal turbines are 30% tax credit in Britain. So add 30% onto the 40%, so then now we have 70% of our profit of the 2.5 billion as disposable to the membership. I'm just telling you this so you know. The membership gets 70% of the profit after one block, just, just one 2.4 hectare block, and that's what's coming out of that lot from those owners. They're going to lose it. They've got lawyers going on top of it. All those who tampered with that block are going to get billed to hell. <coughs> Everyone, and 43 people who stopped me from going to seize that property, and they lost the case. The police, the 15,000 police in New Zealand, a trillion pounds each. 15,000 trillion pounds. Get that. Put that down. Okay? So now we've got 70% of disposable profit. Tax is taken out of it. And what we do is we buy all the homes, set up all the schools, everything as a portion of that, plus the tidal turbines. So the tidal turbines get left with 1 billion, 1 billion, 70% uh, of that is 1.5 billion or something, so 1.75 billion. So 750, uh, 75, 750 million goes back to the shareholders. You see? You see? After the turbines pay to build the turbines to make more money for the shareholders, three to one ratio. That's three to one. Every $25, you're going to get a free $50. 50 pounds, not dollars. 50 pounds for your 25 pound investment, one off, that's it. No more buying anymore. But if you leave your money in the take pay or in the bank, in the My Powerhouse Bank, it'll accumulate all the money's coming in from the fraud business from the tidal energy business, from the hydrogen fuel business, from the Skylon, Skylon aeroplane, hydrogen aircraft, passenger aircraft that goes around the world from here to Britain in four hours. You get from that, you're getting all the trade coming through from the 250 countries for the shareholders and it's just going to stack up and your mobile phone will be rattling in pound notes. Okay, that's how it works. That's all I want to say, Carol, if that's enough. For you to go on, then that's how it works. 
So I'm just about to write, to watch the news and load some more videos on and this video to you. And uh, you have a, a great evening or morning, day, afternoon. And I'll have a great evening. But uh, I'll say hi to the others, uh, Jackie and Jackie and Andy Little Gordon and <coughs> Zara and uh, Jeroni, uh, my friends in Scotland. And Matt Taylor and his family uh, in uh, Brighton, England. And to you, Daryl, and your family. I hope we'll get you back together soon and sort out the um, government there. Put all that together and uh, whatever you can do uh, with those companies and start stacking them up, ready to build. There'll be a busy boy there and get our team together and we'll put an office together in California and a place for you out of all this surplus uh, funding that's coming in. Well, We'll, we'll have to dispose the whole lot in a week because there's more coming in of complaints against those thugs on this side. 30% of them are living high on the expense of this lot. And that's about to end. Okay? So it appears slightly that Soros is causing all the havoc with Obama and Clinton on that Black Lives Matter. It's starting to look like it's on our side, but not really. I, I don't like violence and Moa is not about violence, not spell of uh, blood, it, you know, Moa doesn't spell blood and the Moriori don't spell blood. Uh, so that's us, that's the way we are in the spirit of things. So uh, at this stage I'll write a, when I get back from up north I've got to go back again uh, to meet with the Paramount Chiefs before they come to Auckland on the final court hearing. Two hour court hearing from 12 midday to 2 o'clock, be tagged uh, live, shown onto YouTube. <coughs> and off to the British uh, Westminster government and also the Magistrate Court in Westminster, Magistrate Court and the High Court of Admiralty in London, <coughs> the uh, uh, Chancery and the Judiciary, the Judiciary Supreme Court. Uh, so that's the top end of uh, our flag here uh, on those contracts. Private contracts, nobody's business, two-party contract. Third party, all this side is a third party to a two party contract on this side between the Paramount Chiefs and all the Paramount Chiefs and all the indigenous countries, they're on this side. They're on this side. We're going to America first and we're going to Canada <coughs> and then other countries, Papua New Guinea, I think we're going straight in there because Cecile Dudes, our uh, new manager, has uh, had dealings in Papua New Guinea trying to save the indigenous people from being slaughtered by and killed by the indigenous Indonesian people under contract under this savage beast side here and uh, this has got to end. Putin will take care of the Israelis and the Americans and get them out of the road and clear the way for us to go straight into Britain and prop it back up with this flag. This is a British flag given to us, the NATO. Uh, we'll, we'll carry on with that. Okay Darrell, that's all I want to say for now but you are officially our uh, staff there, in the first of staff in America, at this stage just you. And um, um, you're credible enough, as far as my estimation goes, uh, to be trustworthy and uh, will um, honour uh, our, our allegiance to each other and swear our oath of office <coughs> to our indigenous native uh, chiefs and also to your indigenous native chiefs in America and also in um, Canada. We're going back to square one, and the people of the land and the common people of the world, the king's people, all races come together under Moai crown, King William IV Trust. Okay, thank you very much, people. Have a nice evening. That's it for me. John Wanar, Oduhu, Auckland, New Zealand.